Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm Sheldon and this is Behind the Enthusiast. Today we are outside. It's uh, spring officially. It's very windy uh, as you can hopefully uh, not hear but there's a bunch of metal over there rattling around. But today is a day for updates. We, uh, well, I shouldn't say we but I have been slacking a little bit for you. So Today we're gonna take a look at the trailer. As you guys can see, there's a tarp on there. So I'm gonna have to go in there, double check on things. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. And if I did, oh boy. And uh, then we are going to take a look at the other projects, the other builds that are ongoing. Give you guys a complete update on absolutely everything. I may not be able to show you guys everything, but I'll definitely tell you all about it. So let's get into it. Oh boy. Wow. Cobwebs. Okay. So, uh, we have some dirty water. So, I'm glad that that is not on the floor. Looks like most of the mold is gone. Most of it, anyway. So, that's good. I'm probably going to have to come in here and. Well, yeah, as you guys can see, that's all mold. Actually, there's there's still quite a bit. I'm gonna have to come in here and sand a lot of the wood to get rid of the mold. Um, gotta remember, I've got some goodies in here that you guys aren't aware of. So, that cup fell over. So hopefully I didn't drip water everywhere. And what else do we got down here? Ugh. Well, that's pretty gross. So, just uh, an update here for you guys. We've got the ATV, which, oh boy. I forgot the battery. Okay, oops. So, first thing on my list is to take that battery out and uh, actually put it on charge. There's a cloth there, a rag. I have yet to put the carburetor back on the ATV. Um, I will make a video later on, I'm, I'm hoping anyway, to explain kind of what's been going on in my personal life to kind of explain why I've been a little slow on some things. Winter is usually really difficult for me, unfortunately. It's just that time of uh, the year. Most people do struggle with it, but I had some other things going on. Uh, like I said, maybe I'll make that video to explain what was going on. Uh, the Honda is pretty much ready to go. However, the tires, I mean, it's getting a little bit low. It's, it's still usable for, let's say, practice days on that side, but I have to rotate that over for the season and I don't know if you guys actually got an update or not. I don't remember the handlebars. You guys can see. Yeah, I got the flow ones there. So those ones have to come off. So I uh, kind of screwed up on that. So I have to redo the handlebar job and trying to trying to block everything off there. But there's lots of goodies over here for the ongoing builds, such as the Sportster XR750 tribute build. So I don't wanna to spoil too much of that. Now let's go check on the other bikes, including that Sporty. Yellow means it's charging. 
So hopefully I didn't damage the battery. So next update, this is the Ninja. This is my Hooligan flat track bike. I just took it off the battery tender. So the battery has been maintained all season. Well, I say season, I'm referring to winter. So all winter long, this thing has some goodies going on it as well. Uh, I guess I should tease that just a little bit. That right there. That is the tease that you guys get. So yes, handlebars. New handlebars are going on that. Um, just gotta figure out when I'm going to be doing that. Of course, the most recent project on the channel is the WRX and get cracking on the bikes such as this build, which is my 2001 883 Hugger XR750 tribute build. This thing, as you guys can see, hasn't really had a lot of work done to it. I'm hoping to get this thing running for you guys just because a demonstration of it running stock is going to be a lot better than me just slapping on a new exhaust and then you guys hearing that only. I want you guys to have a little bit of a comparison. So I am gonna to try to get it running, even if it's just for like five or 10 seconds, but that is about it. I'm just gonna to try to get it running just so you guys can hear it. Like I said, just like five or 10 seconds, that's about it. That is the plan for that next video. And of course, we've got my SCR 950. This thing's been maintained, pretty much ready to go. Um, yeah, as you guys can see, I've had that there. So it says it's low, but this thing doesn't read correctly whatsoever. It always reads one bar lower than what it actually is, or at least that's how I've uh, experienced it. Because every time I plug it in when it's down one bar or even in the yellow, it only takes the trickle charger about an hour to bring it back up. So obviously, it's not 100% accurate, but it is accurate enough to at least remind me that I need to put the battery on charge because when you have this many bikes, it's kind of hard to have chargers for every single one. So I do rotate them. And the only bike that you guys will not see at the moment is the DRZ. It is in a different location and I don't have access to it right now, but that should be it. So. DRZ is technically number one. Scrambler is number two. The Sportster, technically that's uh, down in the list, but let's say that's number three. And then we've got the Ninja, that's number four. And then you guys saw the ATV and my flat track bike, my very first one. So that is six motorcycles. I mean, the ATV, you guys can argue that if you want. But six bikes, six bikes, and another car. However, this one is a sacrificial lamb. It's just a roller to restore my WRX, my O2. This is an O3. And this honestly is going really, really well. I'm really enjoying this series. And so that will pretty much conclude the tour and update of what is going on in the garage. Well guys, what did you think of that update? A little bit of a, a tour, basically updating you guys on what is going on, what is upcoming. And again, I do, I don't know, feel a little bit weird that the last time I worked on the bikes, was back in December, I believe. I've been slacking other than just maintaining them and putting the, the uh, trickle charger on them, rotating them through so they've all gone to turn for their batteries other than the ATV, which is now on there. So I will check that out in maybe three or four hours. I think it's gonna take a little bit longer than the other ones. The other ones generally they charge up in say an hour. And that's really all it is because the trickle charger is basically just taking the voltage and bringing it up a little bit. It's just maintaining it, right? So it's constantly up and down, it's fluctuating. So if you keep the trickle charger on it, it's literally just going to fluctuate up and down. Whereas right now they go down and they sit there maybe for a couple of weeks 
and then I put the trickle charger on and I bring it back up. So instead of it going up and down every, I don't know, couple of days or whatever it is and maintaining it like that, the batteries will go down and sit for about like a couple of weeks, which is not that big of a deal. I know some people are real sticklers for battery maintenance. And like I said, with this many bikes, I just have to rotate them. The only bike actually that does get permanently put on for the entire winter on a battery tender is the DRZ. So <laughs> lucky Susie. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button so I know that it's working. A lot of content coming up this summer. I have approximately two months before the race season. So priority number one would be the Honda and then the Ninja. I think the Ninja is going to be uh, second on the list. The ATV technically could be second or third on the list. It's complicated. There's wiring involved and I don't want to do it. Actually, not only do I not want to do it, I also don't really know how to do it. So, yeah, I'm going to need some assistance on that one. But anyway, that's it for me in this one, guys. Make sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on future content on the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.